Long ago, the world was nothing more than an endless sea, cloaked in a boundless sky. Xenoblade Chronicles is set in a world where people live on the backs of giants, Bionis and Makanis. These giants once raged war, but now lay dormant. You, Shulk, start off as a goofy kid who is then swept into Destiny's hand when the people of Makanis attack his town. From evil robots, magic swords, and a large cast of characters, Shulk will uncover the truth about himself and the world around him. There are a lot of twists and turns to keep you intrigued, it follows a very basic anime script for the most part, but has great voice acting and a mesmerizing set pieces. It's an awesome story, but one marred by its slow start and continued pacing issues. You need to get into it, but trust me, once you do, it's good. Oi, you two! We've been ordered to pull back! I'm leaving! Well, I say you're coming with us. Combat plays out much like an MMO. Highlight an enemy, to which you auto-attack it. Normally, I'm not a fan of the style, but the ability to spam skills, micromanage your other two teammates made it more engagement. Battles take a while, and the game isn't exactly easy, so it's best to grind and use tactics even in the simplest encounters. Leveling up is your standard affair of gaining new stats per level, gaining new HP, etc, etc, but you also get skill points you can then allocate into abilities to make them stronger. Like for example, Shulk has multiple weapon abilities, there are healing abilities, etc, etc. Multiple sets of armor and weapons can be equipped, allowing you to customize your characters to your liking. Aside from the main campaign, there are tons of side quests to conquer, but they aren't really interesting anything plot-wise. They'll just land you some nice loot. There was another little small gripe I had in that you always had to have a healer with you because not everybody could heal, and there's no items either. You can't use potions and whatnot. So, in that way, it kind of is a little bit more harder than it should be, but again, great. Aside from a few small little nicks and ticks. It's amazing. Oh, Shulk. You say that every day. While not the best looking game in terms of graphics, especially in this generation that we're in of the HD consoles, the art style and overall scope is tremendous. It is amazing. The amount of locales, quests, characters, enemies, and everything else is astounding, especially, again, for a Wii game. That said, the game tends to chug and slow down because of this, but thankfully not that often, not compared to a game like The Last Story, which I recently reviewed for the Wii. The music and voice cast are amazing, as I said before, making the story and battles all the more epic. Do you like the Kingdom Hearts music? Well then, it'll sound familiar as the composer from there, Yoko Shimomura, did the soundtrack. And again, awesome. And you can save anywhere, which is a huge thing to me in this day and age. It's, it's very forward thinking for Japan. With the saving thing, it helps with the sadistic difficulty level at times, but thankfully when you die, you just restart at the beginning of the dungeon with no penalties. No experience loss, no gold loss, nothing. Wow. No matter how many times I see this, I never get used to it. The developers behind Xenoblade Chronicles definitely had a goal. Make the biggest game on the Wii. The result? Xenoblade Chronicles pushes the Wii to new boundaries and evolves the genre where others have failed. Sure, it's not perfect, but it's definitely one of 20TAL's best RPGs. Maybe even the best. This, for sure, is the true Wii's swan song. Whether you're a fan of JRPGs or just want to dust off your Wii, this is a must buy. If you can stomach a few tweaks here and there.